Hello. Am I live? I think I'm live. Hello, Twitch chat. Welcome to RP Geeks Play Blood on the Clock Tower. Uh, you may notice I'm the only RP Geek here today. I've been left alone, and so we're playing my favourite game of all time, Blood on the Clock Tower. So you might have seen we've assembled a bit of a multiverse full of tabletop role players to play this pretty much epic social deduction game. We've got people from Realms Pod, Who Lives, Who Dies, Science and Sorcery, Nature Check, Questing Time, and probably some others that I've forgotten, I'm sorry. And along with that, we are absolutely so thrilled to have two members of the Pandemonium Institute, the creators of Blood on the Clock Tower, here with us today. So, I'm going to go introduce you to them all. Uh, we'll do this very quickly and then we'll get into the game. I just said, can we Hello, can we do everyone. It in- yeah. you're, Hello. Hello. You're here Hello. with chat. Hello. Um, very quickly, we're going to whiz around the circle so you can say hi to everyone. Oh, and the thing's refreshing, but we're back. We're fine. Um, <laughs> we'll start at 12 o'clock. So, Zach, if you can just do names, pronouns, and the show we've stolen you from. Uh, uh, hello, my name's Zach. My pronouns are he, him, and I have been thieved, stolen, and pilfered from realms of peril and glory by Shamini and Emily. I was put in a black bag, put into a car, and now I'm here. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm Naomi. You can find me on the internet as Naomi thinks it. I've been stolen from both realms and Who Lives Who Dice because I'm just in demand like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz Campbell. Uh, my pronouns are she/her, and uh, yes, I too am here from realms. We've really sat at one side of the table. We're clicky. Yeah, we all sat next to each other. I see. Yeah. I see. Let's see how it is. Hello, I'm Maddie. My pronouns are they, them, and I am I am the final realms stolen e. Uh, I am very excited to um, be innocent and good. <laughs> All of you saying you're innocent, I, I wouldn't trust him. Uh, hello, I'm Ed, uh, and he, him, in a break from tradition. I am not from Realms, but I am a wandering <gasps> GM. You can usually find me on a Tuesday over at Wounded Warrior Project GMing for Eden Falls. Hi, I'm Cheryl. My pronouns are she, her, uh, and Emily flew all the way to North America to snag me. Um, where normally, I run the Nature Check Project. The budget. The budget. <clears throat> Unreal, I tell you. Uh, hello, I'm Paul Foxcroft, uh, he, him, they, and I usually run Questing Time, which is uh, me trying to get comedians to play a role-playing game and not do whatever it is they're doing. And uh, I was assured I'd have time to finish this right before we started, but that hasn't happened. I gave, um, you, I gave you many minutes, Paul. <laughs> but not an act. I told you it's a lot of rice. You can keep it <laughs> suspiciously. Rice, rice, rice. That's a, a suspicious amount of rice. That's an incredible accusation. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sam. My pronouns are he, him. I've been bundled into a portable hole from Science and Sorcery and arrived here. Oh, sorry, I think I've lost Sam. My bad. Um, <laughs> hi, I am Jess, 100% innocent duel. Definitely didn't do it, and you can't prove otherwise. Um, or maybe you can, that's the point of this game. Uh, <laughs> Emily has pilfered me from um, Questing Time as well, alongside Paul Foxcraft, um, and also Three Black Castlings, uh, an incredible podcast that I highly recommend you check out. Hi everyone, I am uh, Jams. I um, I was stolen from the Pandemonium Institute. I was packaged up into a uh, box of the game, a grimoire, and uh, personally by Ben, and then shipped over to Emily. So I am very excited to join y'all today. Thank you for that, Ben. And finally, Mr. Burns, you're muted. Ben's Congratulations, you passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, hello, I'm Ben. I was stolen from Derbyshire Duck, because that's where that's where I hail from. Uh, but I'm also part of the Pandemonium Institute, uh, and I'm very happy to be here. Brilliant. Right, well, I mean, we are so pleased to have all of you, but Ben and Jams particularly, like, really thank you for coming along to do this. I'm Emily, if anyone doesn't know me. I'm one quarter of the RP Geeks, and I just, I love this game. Um, to talk about the game, Ben, could you give, like, a quick elevator pitch for maybe for what so blood on the clock tower yeah is. blood on the clock tower is a supernatural murder mystery game where uh, a small number of evil players led by a demon will try and overwhelm a town of good players 
Uh, the the game is played in day and night phases, so during the day phase we have a free and open discussion, and during the night phase, uh, myself and Emily will go around visiting the goodies and the baddies uh, to perform whatever function it is their character does. Uh, in order to win, the good team needs to kill the demon. Just the demon, only the demon. Uh, in order to win, the evil team needs to keep the demon alive until there are just two players left, including the demon. What differs about this game than many social deduction games is that the, the GMs, the storytellers, have a an active role. So players can become drunk or poisoned, and drunk or poisoned players are given misinformation. And Emily and I will de decide ourselves the nature of that misinformation, which may have far-reaching consequences. Fantastic. Um, so for our first game, we're going to play, well, for both the games, we're going to play Trouble Brewing, which is sort of what's recommended as sort of the introduction script. Um, you have different characters on different scripts. No one needs to worry about that. We're playing Trouble Brewing. You can see the characters on the right hand side um, of the screen. They're a little bit small, but hopefully chat you can just about just about read them. Um, players chat if you have any questions throughout, please don't be afraid to ask. We want to show off this game and we have probably two of the best people in the world to answer the questions being Ben and Jams, not in the game. Um, Players, we'll, I'll do a little intro, then we'll put you to sleep, hand up rolls, and visit those of you who wake in the night. So, let's jump in. Ravenswood Bluff. The name of the starship you have been travelling on for decades. Frozen in cryo chambers, escaping an influx of creatures from the underworld. As they tore through the planet, they even managed to destroy three members of the RP Geeks, Ali, Simon, <laughs> and Sharmini, because they couldn't be here tonight, devouring their brains for all that amazing science knowledge. Weirdly, they left me alone, but we won't, we won't dwell on why that was. Uh, yes, humanity is searching for a new home, but perhaps not everyone on this ship is entirely human. Sleep well, Ravens with Bluff. Press the button and it worked. No. Oh. Nope. Did I press the wrong thing? No, I didn't. Help. Wait, what's happened? Ben. <laughs> oh no. What did press I do? Press the right button, Emily. It's fine. Oh, have we done it? We've given out characters. We have, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> there we go, everyone. You should all now have a character. Yeah. Technical. Okay. The game's about to begin. Good luck. Have fun. Cool. Hello. Okay, okay. Hope you don't okay. mind, but I went ahead and stacked up the characters. No, that's great. Rock and roll straight away. Uh, so yeah, here, here's how it's landed. Do you wanna do you wanna quickly go around the circle and we'll just talk about what each character does, or yeah, do you wanna absolutely. get straight into it? No, let's let's go around so that chat can uh, get an idea of what everyone's doing. So uh, let's start with Zach, fortune teller. Okay, Zach is the fortune teller. The fortune teller's ability is: each night, choose two players. You learn if either is a demon there is a good player that registers as a demon to you. So, each night, Zach will pick two people, and if one of them is the demon, we will say, yes, one of them is the demon. And remember, the demon is one player. It's, it's Edward in this instance. So if Zach picks someone and Edward, we'll say yes. If Zach picks anyone else, we'll say no. However, there is one good player, which we're now going to choose, which will also register as the demon to Zach. X. Who do you want it to be? Um, I... Hmm. I mean, uh, we could we could make it Jams, who is by a mile the most I, experienced player here, and so we'll probably would, draw some suspicion. Yeah, I would like to put Jams in the firing line because I am terrified that uh, she okay. will just solve it immediately. So uh, <laughs> Jams, it is. That. that sounds great. Uh, and okay. Then Naomi, uh, the Undertaker. I love Naomi, the Undertaker. the Undertaker. Yes. Each night you learn which character died by execution today. So if the players execute someone, if they kill someone during the day, we'll wake up Naomi and tell. Naomi, what character that player has. It's a very powerful role. It's so powerful that it's a core mechanic in Mafia and Werewolf. You just learn it. Everybody just learns it. But in this, only The Undertaker learns it. Excellent. And Liz the Chef. Liz the Chef will learn how many pairs of evil players there are. Uh, in, in terms of pairs and neighbours in this game, that refers to players sat next to each other. So as you can see, there are no evil players sat next to each other. So Liz should learn a zero, but that might not be the case as we're about to find out. Yes, Maddie the Recluse. I know this one. This is great. Maddie the Recluse. You might register as evil and as a minion or demon, even if dead. So, 
for the purpose of other characters' abilities, Maddie may appear e evil. It's up to us whether or not Maddie appears evil. Uh, it's arbitrary. We get to decide. And we can change uh, that throughout. We can change that, yes. Uh, but crucially, what the, the recluse is a very good lightning rod. So if we decide to tell Liz, the chef, that there is one pair of evil players, Maddie might immediately become very suspicious of Edward, knowing that she could register as evil, or sorry, they could register as evil, and they may well be sat next to a bad guy, which is a reason why maybe we shouldn't show Liz a one. Oh, I see. So, we, yeah, so we could decide that it's a zero, and then that will make Ed look better, which hopefully means he won't get killed. Sure, very yeah. Okay. Or, or it could have the opposite effect. Um, uh, nice Paul might be the first baddie to die, and it could make his two very legitimate uh, neighbors sure. seem shady. Who knows? And that's the, that's the fun here. We're going to make some going to make some decisions that are really going to shape what these guys do. Excellent. And Ed is our imp, our demon. Ed the imp. Each night, choose a player, they die. If you kill yourself this way, a minion becomes the imp. So each night after this one, Ed will kill somebody. If Ed feels like the heat is getting on, because remember, the good team wins if Ed dies, because he's the imp, he's the demon. Yeah. So if it feels like the heat is on, he can kill himself, and one of his minions will become the new imp. Excellent. It's an escape hatch. Excellent. And Cheryl is our slayer. Cheryl the Slayer, once per game, during the day, publicly choose a player. If they are the demon, they die. It's nice and simple, that one. Slayer's got one shot, shoot the demon, kill the demon. Anything else, and we'll say there is no effect. But it is worth noting that Maddie as the recluse can register as the demon for good player's abilities. So we can So if Cheryl Maddie. shoots Maddie, we could have Maddie die. Yes. Uh, which, which sounds bad for good, but actually it proves objectively that Cheryl is the Slayer. Which is, it's very rare that a player can objectively prove that they are what they say they are in this game. So that would be huge for the good team. Okay, and Paul is our Baron. Paul is our Baron, uh, whose ability is, there are extra outsiders in play, plus two outsiders. So, the number of outsiders in this game, or the number of everything in this, in this game, is determined by how many players we have. In a ten player game, there should be one demon, two minions, zero outsiders, seven townsfolk. However, because we have the Baron in play, we have replaced two of those townsfolk with two outsiders. Outsiders are on the good team, but their abilities hinder the good team. Excellent. And Sam is the role I was the first time I played, and they made me drunk, so I wasn't really the Raven Keeper, but the Raven Keeper. <laughs> The Raven Keeper, if you die at night, you are woken to choose a player, you learn their character. If Sam can draw enough heat from the evil team to get himself killed in the night, we'll wake him up and he'll get to learn the role of any one player that he chooses. Excellent. And then we have the evil team's escape hatch, Jess. Evil team's escape has, hatch, has, escape, <laughs> <Sorry>. escape hat. <laughs> Escape hat, it's a lovely yes. little... Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's full of tools to help you get out of any situation. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the escape hat, Scarlet Woman. If there are five or more players alive and the demon dies, you become the demon. So if uh, basically that's another layer of security for the evil team. If Edward dies before the midpoint of this game, Jess will just become the new demon, providing she's still alive. Excellent. And with the imp's ability to kill themselves at night, is there a chance that we would jump that to Paul? And then keep no. Jess as the Scarlet. If or? the imp if the imp kills themselves in the night and there is a Scarlet Woman in play, we must hand it to the Scarlet Woman. Right. Okay. Okay, and Jams is our librarian. Librarian, you start knowing that one of two players is a particular outsider or that zero are in play. Uh, so we could uh, well, obviously there are two outsiders in play. Uh, however, we haven't chosen who the second outsider is yet, because the second outsider will be the drunk. Right. And the drunk is an outsider who believes they're a townsfolk that has an ability, but they are actually a drunk that has no ability. Uh, and we can tell them whatever we want for the entirety of the game. Excellent. Who's going to be the drunk? Um, ah, oh, it feels like there's quite a lot of information, doesn't there? Um, is there? I don't. Oh, I don't know. I say things like this because I've heard you say them on stream, Ben. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could do the old classic uh, that is always fun, which is make the librarian the drunk. And tell them that the drunk is someone else. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm not against that at all. That sounds great. And okay. also it's Jams, and we would like to nerf Jams as much <laughs> as possible. So this this sounds... Yeah, if you think that's good, let's okay. go with that. Sounds yeah. good. Well, well since uh, since Zach is, uh, is, is red herring his Jams, let's tell Jams that either Zach or Sam is the drunk. 
Excellent. Wonderful. I'm just going to uh, turn of course, my mic neither off of them are drunk. People. Is that better, chat? Is my mic better now, if I'm here? I've turned the music down a bit as well. Anyway, I'll let them talk about that. Um, okay. Great. So, uh, yes, Sam and Zach as the drunk. That's great. I love that. So, we have one more decision to make before we begin the game proper, and that's what three bluffs, three good players that oh, are not yes. in play, uh, that we're going to tell Edward, because th those are the evil team's bluffs uh, to work with. So, he's going to really need those. So, uh, I've deliberately yeah. left out Empath, because okay. I think that Empath is a good one to bluff. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the empath learns how many of their living neighbors are evil. So uh, obviously, <laughs> in, if if there was really an empath in play, they would get legit info. But it's a good one for the right. evil team to set people up. Yeah, and does another outsider make sense? Because if the recluse comes out, then they can pretend to be like the saint or the butler. Is that? Yeah, absolutely. That we can put saint in there if you like. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and finally, I think maybe we give. Uh, let's just give. Let's give Maya because it Great. it gives people a reason to not be dying in the night. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, uh, so now we go around and talk to people. Hang on, I can get the night order up so chat can see the order <clears throat> we should be going. So we'll do do minion info first. So let's get Jess in here. There we go. Okie doke. Hello, Jess. Hi, Jess. Hi. Hello. So, uh, you are the Scarlet Woman. I am. And I've read the character description, and if uh, the demon dies, I become the demon? Yeah. Yep. Uh, as long as there are at least five players left alive when your demon dies, you will become the demon. Okay, so it's in my best interest at this point to make sure as many people survive as humanly possible. That, that makes sense. I'm thinking, because I've got no idea how this works or how to play, and um, from what the character descriptions are, I'm thinking of, like, play it trying to be like oh i'm the drunk i might be the drunk but not not knowing i'm the drunk and be like i'm just a regular townsfolk person i'm the virgin Ooh, um yeah. and then being like oh, i'm not the virgin i'm the drunk um and it. Playing, it, playing it that way <laughs> you've, you've already because, got all this planned out you don't need us this sounds great I'm, yeah. <laughs> well i mean i'm just playing my regular normal life <laughs> When in doubt, to be a drunk virgin, is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so innocent and pure. 100% innocent, 100% pure. Wait, I was drunk. I didn't mean that at all. I'm actually a uh, massive slut. Love it. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jess, uh, before you solidify that plan, uh, okay. we've got some information for you Please. that you start the game knowing. So, I think you're like this, uh, Your fellow minion on the evil team with you is Nice Paul. <gasps> yes! So, yes! Okay, yeah. wonderful. Love this. And your demon... Mm -hmm. is Edward Spence. Does Edward Spence know that I am the Scarlet Woman? Or they, they, oh. So those guys won't know specifically what character you are, but I'll okay. tell them exactly what I've just told you, which is your minion is Jess and your demon is Edward, which is what we say to Paul. Yeah. So they'll all know each Beautiful. other. You'll all know each other. You know you're on the uh, And you can, of course, go for a private chat if you wish. And keep in mind as well that we're going to give Edward three good characters that are not in play. So Ooh. your demon's going to have some bluffs uh, if you can get a chat with him, maybe you can learn a character that you can safely bluff as. Oh, perfect. That's such a good idea. <laughs> I like being bad. Like, yeah. I like being the bad thing of this. It's, yes. it's the most fun role, by a mile, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> I'm going to ask my own right. okay. Jess. All right. We'll All see right. you in a bit. And um, if Time you just click the Jess. little button to Bye. leave, Jess. Bye-bye. Oh, I, what, what do I do? Just <laughs> backspace. Backspace, yeah. Backspace. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Excellent. nice. Uh, let's get Paul in here. Yeah. I realized if we tell everyone about oh yes we did okay great hello paul hi hi so paul do you are you a fan of hats are you a hat wearer i i love hats hats don't like me although i recently bought a cap with the um uh, a fishing logo on it that reads neon jealousy Evangelion. excellent um, <laughs> okay sadly in the other room i can't i can't show yeah you. it might be a bit suspicious if you go and put a hat on now i won't i won't lie to you uh um... yeah. <laughs> I think any costume change at this point yeah, is going to really yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, just get some Do you have any I'm questions, Baron. Paul? Do you have any I'm questions at all? Yeah, we, we, what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, so do I? am I right in thinking that now I learn who the other bad guys are? Yes. You do learn who the other bad guys are, uh, and you are a minion who has already done their job, because if you hover over the middle of the circle, you'll see I've that... I've created the... more weirdos! Yeah, that's right. The character breakdown, there should be no outsiders in play, so you've taken away two useful townsfolk and replaced them with smelly, useless outsiders. So you're free to just go and poison the well of information and support do your I team. Do I know what they are? 
You do not, but um, it's likely that at least one of them will will come out at some point because oh. their existence is information for the good team, right? Okay. So, uh, your fellow minion on this voyage is Jess, 100% innocent, as I'm sure you'll agree. I love that right. you're on the and same team. Have you told her that yet? Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. Yeah. Uh, and your, your demon is Edward Spence. So Which does wild. sound like the name of an antagonist, really, doesn't Here's it? Here's the wildest thing about this. It's... These are the two people who pre-game DM'd me directly. I, I know. Wow. I was going to say, it's mad that it's the three of you. It's, it's... It was fate. Yeah, there you go. Um, right, yeah. any other questions, Paul? Are you uh, good? Do, did you say, what? do I know what Jess is? No, you, you don't, don't but you're welcome to go ask her uh, 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 in a private chat. And finally, okay. Paul, I don't know if you know this or not, but Edward's about to be given three good characters that aren't in play. So that's three free bluffs for the evil team if you can catch him early enough in the game for a chat. Right. Cool. Lovely. Okay. Um, Good luck. Yes, if I can work out how to chat with him again, I'll be away. In the daytime, you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, at night, you won't be able to. Cool. But if you just press backspace, you can leave the room. Nope. Please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's bring Ed in. Ed's going to have some words for me, I have a feeling. Uh, Edward. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Edward. I didn't do it on purpose. Hello. I swear. I swear I didn't. Uh... <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's a new new version of me. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Good. How are you feeling? Yeah. Very stressed. Excellent. Good. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, do you have any questions, Ed, before I give you your info? So, I... We, we're all theorizing about what happened. So I know I have two minions. Is that correct? That's right. Yep. And they are Jess and Nice Paul. Jess and Nice Paul. Lovely. Okay. So they have they have a selection of other roles that are available to them to fake, as no, do I. Only no, you, they don't. Only you will learn this information. Uh, and of course, you can impart it to them if you like. There's enough bluffs for all three of you to go around. Uh, okay. But it's a case of if you can catch them in a conversation. Okay, lovely. So, lovely. And can I send that information to them via messaging, or do you want me to keep it to? It's it's against the stuff. rules to use any outside software uh, in this. Okay. Uh, so yeah, if you want if you want to say it to them, basically this app tries to as best as possible simulate playing in in real life. Lovely. So you okay. can whisper to your neighbours via text, but you can't whisper to, to anyone else via text. Lovely. So it's Paul and Jess. Yeah. So yeah. the questing time, folks. Okay, cool. Yeah. That makes it easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Edward, your bluffs are as follows. There should be a little okay. thing in the bottom left of your screen, three blank circles. Oh, yes. If you okay. click on them, you yep. can put the tokens that we say in there. So you've got them, obviously. So Lovely. you've got Empath. Empath, which is, a, which is a big, big blue heart. Uh, okay. You've got Saint, which is the one that uh, that's got big white wings. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Mayor. Mayor, ooh, lovely. So okay. if you're going to bluff as any of those, highly recommend you thoroughly read them. Maybe even have a look at the wiki entry for them so that you'd understand how they would work. Uh, Empath is the only one that would be woken in the night, and they would wake every night while they're still alive. Okay, lovely. I will. I'll have a look. All right. Good luck, Edward. Okay. Good yeah. Luck. No, I'm ready. Thank I'm you so very sorry. much. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, right. uh, press backspace. Right. Go on. Get out. <laughs> Off your pop Go head. away. It's our room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We've done. In. Yeah. That's the that's the that's evil right, stuff. It? So let's get yeah. Let's get jams in. The pro. Hello. Hello. Hello, Jam. Please don't destroy I all my friends immediately. <laughs> don't worry. I love I love playing with people who are newer to the game. I like to just kind of sit back and let them figure it out. It's one of the most fun I things. So, Thank yeah. You. Well, Jams, we've got what you might feel is some classic librarian info for you right now. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Uh, you okay. learned that either Zach or Sam is the drunk. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, Jams. Bye. So so okay. swift. Just knows knows the ropes. <laughs> yep. A pro. Uh, Thought about asking Jams if, if they had any questions, but <laughs> yeah, anything you want to know? Uh, <laughs> chat. If you do have questions, keep putting them in the chat. I will try and uh, we'll 
verbally respond to some, but also there seem to be a lot of knowledgeable people in the chat. Welcome. I think a lot of you are new. Thank you. Um, right, Liz, chef. Yeah, so before we get Liz in here, oh, we've we got to make decide, a pretty big call we? here. Do we tell her uh, zero, which is true, mm -hmm. or, or do we one. tell Liz a one, in which case Maddie the Recluse is registering as evil? Yeah, but she's sat next to Maddie as well, so it's going to immediately frame Ed. Yeah, um, or it's just that the two of the three baddies together. are somewhere else in the circle, I suppose. Mm, oh, I don't know. I quite. I guess if Jams has got the red herring... And Jess is maybe looking suspicious. That could kind of solve that. But yeah, um, how do you make these decisions? That's a good question. How do you sort of go about thinking through this? Do you just try and think so, as many scenarios as possible? Or the evil team always start the game losing because they are massively outnumbered. So in the early game, you make decisions that you think are going to make it easier for the evil team to bluff their way through. Yeah. So you are essentially working for the evil team until you feel like you've kind of done your job and given them a safe an opportunity to to blag their way through the game i kind of think that that incorrect information is probably going to be useful to evil because they could at least play with it and they can throw accusations around so i think yeah. we wake liz up and tell her a one and they might work out there's a drunk at some point as well and it might point to her being the drunk so okay yeah i'm here for it let's try it let's, let's do, do it that. Hello. Hello. You're a Hello. chef. You've been you've been cooking up some stuff. Hooray. What have you been cooking, Liz? Been you brewing doing? trouble. Hey. Space food. Space food. Correct. Yeah. Space food. New world. Rather than the clock tower in space. <laughs> Liz, do you have any questions about the chef? Uh, no. I think I got it. I understand that pair. I get to know how many pairs there are, as in how many evil players are sitting next to each other. Is that That's correct? Right. Yep, correct. And you learn that there is one pair of baddies. Ooh. Okay. Um, and that's the only information I'm going to get basically this session, yeah? Yeah. That's right. That makes you a very good conversation starter. Yes. And a very easy target, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my duty. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Liz. Nice You're welcome. Good luck. Uh, backspace to get out of the chat. Yep. Bye. <laughs> okay. And uh, finally, we've got Zach now. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello, I've Zach. taken a, a momentary step away from the group. <laughs> I hope they don't notice. No, we'll get you back in there quickly. Uh, your fortune telling with your crystal ball. Yes. It suits you, Zach. I like it. Thank you. Um, so every night you get to pick two players. Yes. And Ben, is that right? We'll just give you him a yes or a no if one of them is the that's demon. That's right, yeah. yeah. If one of them is the demon, and that's specifically the big bad, not evil, specifically the demon, uh, you'll get a yes. However, there is one good guy in the circle who yes. has been arbitrarily selected who will also provide you with a yes. Cool. Okay, so can I just double check? So if I get one of the minions, I'll, st I'll get a no. Yeah. Correct. Cool. That's right. Okay. Uh, unless, of course, the other person you pick is the demon or your red herring, then you'd get a yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, and that I'll, is... I'll let you know as well. You can pick yourself if oh. that's something you want to do at any yeah. point. Yeah, yes, yeah, okay. I would like to know about Maddie because, yeah, I like to turn on my realms castmates early. Um, and Paul, Maddie and Paul, mm -hmm. and you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Cool, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Hey, uh, backspace, backspace to leave. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye, bye bye. Right. Okay. Oh, so, so you didn't give a yes, which you could have. That's done, right? right. Yeah, Zach chose Maddie and Paul. Uh, we could have had Maddie register as the demon. Uh, I chose not to though because I don't want to throw shade on one third of the evil team before mm. the game's even. Oh begun. right, because it would make Paul look bad immediately. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if it had been Maddie and say Naomi. You might have picked. May well have said yes. yes. Yeah, I think also given that we've already had the recluse register as evil, for maximum confusion possible, Love. we've now had them not register as a baddie. Great. So that kind of muddies the water a little bit. Yeah, love it. 
Um, do we want to just go round the circle and bring the others in to check they're okay with their roles, or is that something you wouldn't normally do with first-time um, players? It's up to you. Uh, I am aware that you have got some degree of time constraint, and we've taken a little bit, a third yeah. of the time <laughs> for game one. Uh, All right, so let's just I go think into it. If they've yeah. got questions, they can come approach me on the go, right? Because you're basically the movie camera here. You're going to go right. from room to room. I'll just skirt around and be available for questions and stuff. Awesome. That sounds great. You ready? Yeah, ready when you are. All right, I'm going to boot us back to the square now. And there's like, hello. Oh, oh, good, morning. good morning, Ravens with Bluff. Hundred percent is innocent. That's excellent. You it's need good to give know. us like a countdown or like a notice. No, we can't. Because we, um, <laughs> so, we could be saying anything. I could be nude. Yeah. You missed some. <laughs> you missed some spicy children. I mean, as a based content. <laughs> the sirens are sounding as you exit your pods and head to the hub of the ship known as the clock tower, in relation to its grand, intricate celestial clock positioned in the centre. And there, slowly rotating on the hands, the bodies of the ship's pilots, those tasked with finding your new home, known only as the storytellers. As their blood pools in the gears of the clock tower, you see the lacerations on their skin. This is the work of that which you flee. A demon. You look around at your fellow travellers. Clearly one of them is not what they seem. Find the demon, Ravens would bluff. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Helen, like, it's just like open season, pointing, throwing people off the cliff, right? Yeah. I, I think maybe if anyone has any information to volunteer that they may have gleamed during the night... That's maybe the more civilized way to start. But if we wish to just start with throwing people off of the cliff, I'm also down for that. Naomi said they were the uh, Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi did immediately say she was the Undertaker. Which means I'm good and therefore cannot be killed? Mm. Wow, guys. <laughs> I'm so trustworthy. Um, as the Undertaker. No, oh, no. Uh, Sorry, based on vibes alone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cheryl, you seem lovely, but I've decided to kill you immediately. <laughs> I keep trying to put the labels on people. I'm sorry. Okay, I got... Oh, so I just got a really suspicious private chat request from Paul. Um, <laughs> I just want everyone You're to know not that. It's fine. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you are welcome um, to go yes. and have private chats, everyone. Yeah. Oh, just so you know, guys, do keep in mind that there is at least one person in this circle whose job it is to figure out who the most useful good player to kill tonight is oh uh, yeah if you all just announce what you are you're gonna die one by one so well, like undertaker you to make use of the uh, private chat feature right okay. naomi just wants to go first <laughs> <laughs> if you press enter you should get a little thing where you can request private chats with people yes, oh okay. i don't know so that's what you, if you want to put a label on somebody don't don't press enter <laughs> oh i see i got you okay interesting right. i'll announce what i am go on uh, in good faith for the community of this here spaceship, um, I, as you all know from your regular visits to the canteen, am in fact the chef. Um, totally innocent. Look at this. Y'all love my meatloaf. Um, <laughs> and how. And, and in my role as chef, I know that there is one pair of baddies, which means that two people sitting next to each other our baddies oh, oh. oh. so let us use oh. that as our starting point for the witch hunt and if i die in the night you all killed me well i mean <laughs> sure. that would be there's no reason to kill you now because your information has been spent well i'm a good yeah well this is it so really you wouldn't want to kill me because i'm delightful and you <laughs> love my space if in fact your information that. is accurate yeah. Who else is going to cook all these birds? <laughs> <laughs> um, so while, obviously, while we were off the plane, we had some time to discuss. And, you know, there's a raven's keeper. Um, and we decided, you know, what is a raven doing in zero G? So mm -hmm. clearly we're sending ravens a around the ship, but by pneumatic tube. Mm. So just, just so we can add that in. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And also because yeah. it's an ark, we're occasionally sending a raven out to find land. None of them have come back. Weird. Does the dove come back with like a little olive branch? Is that what happens next? <laughs> does if it does, I'll be surprised because it will fly in the face of things I know about. 
uh, vacuums. If it does, I'll ask Liz to cook it for me for dinner. Yeah. Uh, does anyone else want to cop to a roll or anything like that? So, I, mean, I, so. I don't know if I say what I am. Hang on. Well, it's up to you, right? Edward. I know. Edward. I just don't. Strategy-wise, I don't know if it, mm. if saying it then is good target, bad target. If that makes sense. So <laughs> I, I, I will say, building off Liz, if if we are if we are to believe Liz as the wonderful chef that you are, um, I nope. next time it's night, I will be able I'll be able to tell if certain people in my vicinity are good or if that's useful. So we have that, I won't say what I am, but we have that for tonight. Okay. I, I don't, that, and that's pretty much all I can bring to the table, um, but I don't know. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. J Jams, how does the spy work? Uh, so the spy um, gets to see what everyone's role is. Right, right. So, so that's part one. Or good and evil. You could be a spy. Just say mm -hmm. it. I could be. Yes. I, I could be. Absolutely. Um, but all I can say, I can, I can. So, I because I need to clarify this. So, what what is the difference between blue and red? Because we were talking in the night time that. Because this is the spy an outsider, or so if you, click, <laughs> if you click on the right hand side, you'll minion. where it says characters, you'll be able to see all the characters, hmm. and you'll oh, see okay. that the spy yeah, is a I minion. It's red versus blue. The good team yeah. wins by killing the imp. The evil team okay. wins by keeping the imp alive. Okay, so yeah, I'm not red. <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I'm great do you know what game. that does prove to me though that does prove to me that ed did not get pulled aside for a chat <laughs> 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 and i'm sorry you just say that no but, you know i no, think that's... that speaks to your innocence a bit that's that's fair that's more than fair i'm i don't think i'm gonna be very good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> a likely story uh, um but, but yeah, that's not so like I... you might be the empath or the fortune teller. Um, you don't need to confirm. But... I'm going to give you guys a couple more minutes to get any private chats in, and then the gong's going to sound, and we're going to talk about executing people. Private chats are fun, everyone. I'll follow you around. It'll be great. I suggest private so... chats. I love private chats. Go lie to people. I do not need to conceal my discussions <laughs> from my colleagues. I trust I... you all. Yeah. So Cards do... on the table. I'm going to head to the graveyard in this this like hellscape in space um <laughs> our ship has a graveyard why would don't it? question anything about the names <laughs> so do concerned cheryl she's she's down she's the imp i've decided no one is gonna quake me from this um just what to <laughs> based on on pure female vibes alone <laughs> uh <laughs> I mean, I mean, she was fairly silent during the big yeah, group anarchy discussion. Yeah. Um, um, and I did get pulled aside of the night because I'm very honest and I am the chef. And I can tell you that it's really disorienting because you suddenly smash into this private conversation. Yeah, um, so, so, yeah, all the people who went suspiciously silent. Zachary. Um, <laughs> again, I've never heard that man be silent for more. Than it could show up that I'm evil. So, um, yeah, that's that's just kind of something that I want to get out there, but not widely so that I can't be like actively killed immediately. <laughs> but yeah, but if I get killed, then I know that someone in this very small group <laughs> was evil. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Good. I can. So it doesn't look like we've Hello. touched base. Hi, Emily. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so, who are you? <laughs> ah, the silent treatment. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, also, Paul, we need to chat more about Warhammer, uh, but we just show you call Look, that... It's not for nothing. Ooh. I don't know if this will show up. Look at these colour shift paints on this okay. Tau drone. Okay, we'll leave Stop Look at it. that. <laughs> anyone in... No, no one. That's I right. Don't know. Two alive neighbors, two people that are next to him, 
uh, and alive. So obviously, this is the first day of the game. Everyone's right. alive. But if one of the the empath's neighbors were to die, it would we would then get a read on the next guy along. Okay, I just I just don't feel like I know. And hello, Liz. What, I just I'm don't feel about. like we're just talking about Ed. I do, I don't feel like I have. I don't think Ed is is bad. I think that was a genuine performance. Hi, Ed. We're Hi, talking Ed. about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Naomi thinks Cheryl, and I do agree that she was quite quiet during the overall chatting time. She might just be quiet. I don't know her, but like... Yeah, but you could say that about Maddie. Maddie. Yeah, but Sorry. I know Maddie, and Maddie is just quiet as a human. So simple. Um, the mayor... Hi. If they can make it until there are three players alive, which is the <clears throat> final day of the game at that point, because evil wins when there are only two two alive. Yeah. If Mayors can make it all the way to that day and then convince people not to execute anyone, the good team just wins immediately. Okay. We you hop into a private up, chat, really? and then sure. you can convince me not to kill you. Sure. <laughs> that, that whole, Straight yeah, both of both of those so both they came to our our graveyard, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were we were here enjoying. We were, it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Just just having a nice a nice chat, and they just busted busted it. It's you and me here currently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so spell. Oh. Um. Yeah. So I've never played this before. Um. Yeah. But after yeah, uh, after reading over the rolls, um, it's uh, it looks like my role doesn't really like have anything that I can do early on without getting more information. But once I have more information, I can be really super helpful. Um, so like, I'd like to stay around a little longer and see if I can sort of like help figure out who does need to go. Cause I have sort of like a, you know, a one shot I'm kill. You're, you're, I'm the undertaker. I will tell you that for free. Um, would you like to reveal to me your character type? Uh, yeah, um, as I said, I, I have a, a one-shot kill option, um, so that might give you a clue. Okay, let me see if I can read. It looks like, um, Paul and Ben are having a chat, but that could be for yeah. completely innocent game question reasons. Yeah, whenever I'm running the game for new people, I always stress, you know, like, you can oh, she's gone, they're gone. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I just asked it. I misclicked. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Relatable. Oh, that's fine. I was uh, yeah, just gonna say that um, with um, with newer players, it's it's great to just you know emphasize like you should ask the people running the game all of your questions because that's what they're there for. Like they're yeah. they're neutral. They're they're there to help you, and um, yeah, which is always always great. And I always try and say you know it doesn't make you evil to ask me a question. If I'm running the game, because a lot of times I've found that evil players are scared to go and ask the storyteller their question because they're like, well, people will think that I'm evil if I go and ask. And it's like, no, 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 good people. We oh, are. God. Oh, God. So many notifications. The was really intense, guys. Yeah, so that many was notifications. Far too loud. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get but somebody tell Jess here. backspace. It's just. I was just in the library on our own. <laughs> Everybody to the library! No, no. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, I have hand on the door like, I'm not the demon, I just can't work. I'm Question. Just, like, <laughs> is, anybody, is anybody like an engineer? <laughs> <laughs> Only a character in other scripts, right, Ben? There is an engineer. Mm. There is an engineer, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a more complex character. Not on this anyway. ship. <laughs> no, not on this ship. No engineers. Uh, so, in a second, we're going to open nominations. Uh, but I'll quickly explain how they work. It's dead simple. Each day, you may nominate one person. Similarly, each day, you may be nominated once. You can vote as much as you like. There is no limit to the number of times you can vote, unless you're wrong? dead. Dead players may only vote once for the rest of the game. Wait, what? once someone's sorry, go on, Paul. You get a you ghost. You still get a vote if you're dead. What? Yes, you still get a vote if you're dead. You still okay. take, but only cool. one. So when someone's nominated, so let's say for let's say if Liz were to nominate Sam, uh, you'll see now that we've got some clock hands, and you can all put your hand up or down. Oh. Liz will explain why she's nominated oh. Sam. Sam will defend themselves. We'll then have this happen, and this will go around in a circle. If your hand is in the air when this clock arrives at you, you've voted to have Sam executed. 
<gasps> okay. Jams. Oh, the drama. This, of course, is just an example vote. This will not count. But in this example, Sam didn't get enough votes because Sam got one vote. And in order to be executed, someone needs to get a number of votes equal to half the alive players. So right now, all ten of you are alive. So that means a minimum of five votes required today to execute someone. However, just because someone gets five doesn't necessarily mean we'll execute. I'll keep calling for nominations. Naomi might get seven, and then Cheryl might get eight, and then oh, Edward might get nine. <laughs> Once everyone's had the pound of flesh, it's the guy with the most votes who we execute as long as it meets that minimum. Does that make sense, everyone? Yeah. Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. In that case, then, by all means, please do continue discussing as a group. But if you would like to nominate someone, now's the time to do it. I'll just throw out a nomination. Uh, I don't mean, and I just, I just, I'm just getting this party started. I'll nominate Liz. Okay, Zach has nominated Liz. Tell us why, Zach. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to gauge where people are at. I want to see. I think Liz has done a good job defending herself. I want to see what people. Um, Zach is supposed to be a podcast dad and take care of us, so uh, I think we should kill Zach immediately. <laughs> uh, I just want to see what people vote as. I don't think Liz is actually going to get voted for that many times. Okay, Liz, would you like to say something in your defense? I might... <laughs> I've, I've lost Liz. I don't know about y'all. I think we might have lost Liz. Uh, Liz, refresh the page. <laughs> I can hear Liz. Oh, you can. I can I'll hear refresh Liz. the page then. Refresh now, everything. what I've just yeah. <laughs> I don't think five people will vote for Liz. I don't actually want to okay. vote for Liz. Liz, anything to add before I run the vote? Uh, yes, I am the chef. Um, I think Zach is going <laughs> to Can I still not be heard? Yeah, I can hear yep. you. Hear you. Okay. It's like every sentence you've started with, I am the chef. <laughs> um, um, yes, I, I think Zach doesn't like the fact that I pointed out that he was silent for quite a lot of the um, the group chat. And I, I know Zach, polite. and he's quite a chatty boy um so i think he's real sus um zero is not enough any other nominations no um zach really? yeah liz yeah, tell fine. us why you have nominated zach did i mention that he was real quiet sure. yeah. <laughs> <He's very laughs> intro liz that's all i have to work on okay zach, zach also said it was we don't have enough information at this point in time to nominate anyone and then immediately nominated liz which is a bit I... he nominated liz who automatically said i am a i am the character. chef <laughs> yeah i would also like, like to you know point what? out that i, I like said just... i don't think people will vote for liz i just wanted to say yeah you said liz. that once people were like nah get fucked <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so then Zach, last word on the issue before I run the vote. I, I, this has all come down to the fact that I was quiet in the pre-game <laughs> chat. I think it's, it's you were quiet. Was just, you literally said nobody said thought, hey, anything. I'm not going to vote, this and then immediately went to Liz. I will defend myself in my defense section. I don't like it when the family fight. I was being polite <laughs> because I don't want to talk over people in a video call. It's never yeah, happened. We appreciate you know, that. Now he's really okay. reserved and struggling to defend himself. I don't know. Uh... Okay, well, I have been nominated now, so thank you. Say everyone. bye, baby. This is really <laughs> unfortunate for you. Does, does anybody else, whenever the the noise happens, want to go and answer a door? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Five My grandfather clock is just off screen. It's... Any other nominations today? Oh, God. No? <laughs> um. Okay, so based on Liz's information, who I trust with my goddamn life... I wouldn't. Um, what are you then, Zach? What role are you? Uh, well, I'm dead now, so I'm the fortune teller. You're not dead and... yet. You are not dead, Zach. Oh. You might oh. yet survive if someone gets more oh. than five votes. No one else is going to get more votes than me. I was the fortune teller. Uh, and I got a no good... I got a good read or a not bad read off of Paul and Maddie. Cool. So. Okay. okay. So there you go. So Zach eyes thought were really he was neat. going he was to die. For a minute, Zach, and it was great. There you go. So, so Zach thought he was going to die, and then was just like, "I'm the fortune teller." That doesn't sound like a bad thing. Like, I think that's true. Well, regardless, I'm gonna die now because yeah. the demon's instantly gonna be like, "Well, bam!" Even if someone he he could have said it before if if he thought we were about to vote. Okay. Well, I I assumed that I wouldn't get the votes, uh, but um. <laughs> Full. Um... <laughs> Final call for nominations today. <laughs> okay, so uh, just to add in a bit of extra, Liz, who I trusted my life, said that there two of the evil people are sitting next to each other. 
which obviously can't be me, so it puts Jams at risk if Zach is in fact evil. Okay. Um, I will say, also, uh, just to throw out my not evil read, and that's to say not the demon read, Maddie and Paul, I got nil on. Bringing the day to a close in five. So you got that they weren't evil. Four. You asked for the not the okay. demon. Not Three. the demon. Okay. Not the demon. Right. Okay. Two. One. Bye bye. Zach, you have been found guilty. Of oh, man, I'm sorry. Space I do love evil. You space evil. I'm sorry. You are violence. Right. Sorry, Emily. Am I taking up your bit here? No, with that's my very great. Crappy no, you're space great. evil. She no. okay, right. That's pretty much exactly what I was going to say. Space bed. Okay. Space bed. Welcome to space bed. Hello. That was perfect. Space evil and space okay, bed. Yeah, that's I'm, exactly what I was going to say. Right. So you're all good. I'm glad uh, I nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, interesting. That is probably the worst thing. I was going to say, that feels wrong. real bad. For yeah, them. Uh, we've got two repeating information roles on the table. One of them was Zach, who yeah. was dead. And the other one is Naomi, who immediately He's told so the evil wrong. team how incredibly useful yeah. and powerful she was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What can you do, though? New players. They I love do it. fun stuff. This is great. <laughs> um, they're uh, also, a lot of them are telling the truth to each other, which... Yeah. I have played a few games now, and I have—I don't think in the last five I've played, I've told the truth to a single person on day no. one. And, uh, <laughs> if you ever play with me, there's your tip. Um, it is a lie. And uh, yeah. Oh, apart from I was the vizier once, so everyone knew. And so that was... Sorry, I'm confusing new people in the chat. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> right, I'm so excited. Okay, second night, we go... Straight to Edward. Straight to... Yes, because Scarlet Woman would be first if Ed had been executed. That day. Right. I see. All right. right, Let's get me in here. Let's do it. I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to be very good at this game. Oh, I don't understand. Very good. It's very good. It's very good. Thank you very much. He's an actor, Um, you know. Ed, I take it you're (laughs) you're bluffing as empath, right? I am. Yes. So do keep in mind that the empath would have woken up last night as well. Make sure you don't slip up on that one. I will try and remember. Uh, So, who do you want to kill, Ed? Uh, I would like to kill Maddie. You would like to kill Maddie. Okay. I feel bad about it, but got to do it. Don't feel bad about it, Ed. Yeah. yeah, think about it this way. You're providing a fun murder mystery puzzle for <laughs> Maddie and everybody else to enjoy. And in order to Aww. do that, you've got to you've got to break a few eggs. I am. You're so right. Space then. eggs. You're, you're basically a saint. Yeah. Very good. He's gone. <laughs> okay. He's out. He's done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Right. I cannot believe Ed didn't kill, didn't Naomi. kill Naomi. Yeah. I think but Naomi. I'm complaining. Naomi has the potential to look evil. I think with the way she's playing. Yes. So that might yeah. might be might be part of the reason. But um yeah, I I would have killed her. Um right, uh Sam didn't die as the Raven Keeper, so we don't wake him up. So we now wake up Naomi and That's right. we confirm Zach. Yeah, let's do it. Fun. Hello. Hello. You got your space shovel out. Let's go. Uh, I haven't worked out all the analogies for all the characters. Okay, I just worked out the spaceship it's, thing, it's, and then <laughs> it's a hollow right. shovel. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Head over to the spave yards and get out your cyber shovel. Perfect. Uh, and you dig dig up the uh, the corpse of Zach, and he is in fact clutching a crystal ball because Space Zach was the ball. fortune teller. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you kindly. Um, and it, mm, question. Mm-hmm. Yep. He said that he read two people and neither of them registered as a demon to him. Is that correct? Is that what I should have taken from that discussion? That's, yeah, if you look uh, at the fortune teller That's what he claimed happened, yeah. He claimed he chose yeah. two people and got a no. Okay, fab. Thank you kindly. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. If you're going to bed. Press back space, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so the empath might wake up now so we pretend, uh, in the yeah. night order. So we should kill 20 seconds because... Okay. According uh, to Edward, we... we were talking to him. Oh, I should work out what I'm going to say. Uh, who's died? Maddie. Okay. Um, uh, what was I? I was going to ask you a question, but it's gone out of my head. Uh, <laughs> no, not no, got nothing. We'll work it out. Oh, well, I'll, I'll you telling me that you was going to ask me a question, but it's gone out of your head has actually it's killed, killed enough time. time. So there Perfect. we go. We're fine. Uh, right, you ready? Yeah. Oh. Good morning, <laughs> Ravenswood Bluff. Oh, As you yeah. exit your pods, you see that one of them has smears of blood over the inside of the glass. 
And as you peer through, you see the body of Maddie. <gasps> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> R.I.P. We'll remember you. Soz, babes. All right, day two I dawn. Like how, Good luck, I don't everybody. like how that's gone down. Maddie, yeah. did uh, you tell us the truth yesterday when you were speaking to me and, and Sam? I, yeah, I told the truth. I, tr I trust her. you completely. I'm I just did. a little I guy. <laughs> oh. Can ghosts <laughs> enter uh, private chats? Absolutely. The only thing that changes when you die is you your ability no longer works, unless it states otherwise in the ability. Hey, Maddie, you can only vote let's once and you can't off. nominate anymore. <laughs> Go to chat. Uh, Oh my god. I think, all right. Um, god damn it. I, I not I love you, you, Liz. <laughs> I don't fucking trust you. you. You're throwing so many goddamn hands. Uh, what the fuck is up? Why, why, did, why did you just randomly vote, like, add, add a vote for me? I just wanted to see what people were going to do. I was going to do Cheryl, and I thought, I don't know Cheryl. Oh, yeah. Cheryl I mean, could I appreciate that. Friends, <laughs> Cheryl <laughs> could misjudge my fucking tone yeah. and then be mad at me. And well, then no. this fucking shit happens. Well, yeah, everyone, right. you didn't no. vote, right? Like, you did the nomination, but then you didn't vote, so it was just a demonstration, right? Like, why wouldn't you? want to chat, Naomi? Did you learn anything in the night? I learned nothing. I got, I got nowhere. So th my only thinking is that I d if Naomi's either playing this really smart mm -hmm. or really, really dumb by just being like, I'm the Undertaker straight off the bat and then having played this before. Yeah, I, I'm wondering whether it's like a triple bluff. Um, like, ev like nothing is true. So hang on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't so trust her completely. Do not trust her. So based on me thinking that jams is innocent and zach's mm -hmm. innocent mm -hmm. i think you're innocent so uh, okay. i tell you i'm the soldier um but i don't want the demon to know that because then it all it automatically means that he won't go for us so if in the night comes for me um then i don't know why i'm gendering it <laughs> The demon, the demon, the person, uh, if they come for me, then I, I, that's my thinking at this point, because it's only because I watch the traitors and I know how the shield works and I'm thinking <laughs> the same thing. I'm going Ivan Brett on this, so that's my yes. opinion, yes. Um, but I am yeah. the soldier. The soldier, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you do not have uh, to tell me what you are. I'm... I, but I, I'm fairly convinced you're innocent. I will be um, straight up with you. I'm not going to tell you who I am. Um, I'm going to hold on <laughs> to that for a Bad. bit. But I, I, I think I believe you. I think okay. I believe you, the soldier. I, okay. I do agree that I think that... I don't know why Jess would be talking to um, Zach. What does, do... that, what does that do for them? I don't know. Maybe, maybe she trusts him. And hey, wants baby. Information. Uh, let's go to the church. Yes. Okay. Cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, they've all gone. I. So, because of what I am, I know that Maddie wasn't. Mm -hmm. I I know she was good. Okay. Um, and I know that Cheryl is not we fucking called it let's yeah. kill cheryl let's kill right? cheryl <laughs> okay cool yeah because when we were talking last time we said she was quiet and yeah so yeah. maddie i i can't i can't so liz you're, you're... <clears throat> yeah messy messy stuff that unfortunately yeah i think it's it's tough to do the right thing but also yeah worth it. So. Having a very serious conversation in here, Emily. Just so you know. What's your conversation about? <laughs> uh, the Smurfs. Oh, of course. Oh, yep. I love the Smurfs. I wanted to be Smurfette when I was younger. Um, <laughs> so completely take it away from the game. I went to see the Smurfs live when I was about eight, and I thought it would be tiny, tiny Smurfs, and it was obviously giant people in giant Smurf costumes, <laughs> and I cried throughout the whole thing because uh, I hated it. So there you go. I mean, that must sound kind of terrifying when yeah. you put it that way. Yeah. Giant Smurfs. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I should 
let chat see conversations <laughs> rather than me chatting about the Smurfs. Ashley, Ed, um, let's have a uh, not Ed, Ben, let's have a quick chat. Watch too much okay. on the clock down. Let's do it. Um, I just I thought I'd I wanted to point out to chat. Um, Ed has made a bit of an error uh, in the chat I was just in. He's mentioned right. that he knew that uh, Maddie was good and Cheryl was evil. So he's making, or unless he's, I guess if he's going to say he's got a one both nights, <clears throat> maybe it's fine. Yeah, it could be. But um, I think he, he might have misread it as that he can tell which way it goes. Yeah, so, this is it. Like, but you, know, yeah, you, I put in so many checks and balances for him yeah. as well. I said, make sure you read it if you're going to bluff as it. Yeah. I said, don't forget that if you're bluffing empath, you would have done something yesterday. Gave him a chance to ask questions. He could they, also they just be going them. crazy on sewing weird stuff. So who knows? Yeah. But, um, but this is this is why we put yeah. the uh, Scarlet Woman in for a bunch of new players yeah. for this exact reason because it, it means that one little slip up doesn't completely seal Edward's fate. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was all I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, wow. let's go back to talk about Smurfs. Great. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit. I think, I think you might be innocent too. Probably bring everyone home here. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Good. But that's. Right. Oh fuck! It time. All right, but, but that was the thinking so far. But cool. Are you very discussing? Sorry, folks, I got stuck in this laboratory for a second because I couldn't find the exit button. <laughs> oh, you did uh, me. God bless you. <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Uh, there are eight of you alive, so that means today only four votes needed to put somebody under the oh, guillotine. Sure. Great. Um, broken. I would like to kill Cheryl. Naomi, tell that? us why you have nominated Cheryl. No, I'm killing Cheryl. <laughs> I'm going to get her in the street and yelling witch and just waiting for other people Good to jump Lord. on the bandwagon. It's the red hair, isn't it? I, I feel very attacked. Um... <laughs> no, it's the accent. They like that. Uh, I suppose Listen that's next. fair. I am the odd one out here. <laughs> um, yeah. So based on some private information I've received... I would like to vote for Cheryl. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you do you want to add anything to that before I hand it over to Cheryl? Um, I'm the Undertaker. You can trust me. Uh, I just dug <laughs> up a dead guy in the night, and he seemed fine. Don't worry about it. Wow. So, <clears throat> okay, I... Cheryl, your response. That's really super interesting because during the first day, Naomi and I chatted privately, and I let her know who I am. I've been trying to keep it close because it's important for like later gameplay after we have more information. Yeah, um, but the problem but... is, is if you have the kind of role that you're like, oh, I can't do anything now, but I can do something later, so you shouldn't kill me. I'm just like, nah, weak. <laughs> well, I mean, if you really want to tell us what that role is, so that we spare you. Well, I mean, I it's a hail mary now. If you do that, then uh, the, then Cheryl's dead anyway. Right, like if I tell you, then I'm gonna get a target on my back. But uh, sure, yeah, I have a one-shot kill option um, if I'm able to choose the right person in time. So yeah. um, okay, I have a question about the particular character. The one-shot kill. When is that allowed to be activated? Is that allowed to be activated during any phase? Uh, I don't know what character it is you're referring to, Naomi. So you're gonna have to let me know. It says yeah. during a public time, so I would assume any time during the day. Guys, right? just say the name of the character. I can't confirm <laughs> whether somebody is or isn't. Slayer. You say the word. I whispered it to you. Okay, cool. Slayer. Right. Thank you. Um, so the way the Slayer works, you whispered it to me. Someone did say it. Out loud. <laughs> okay. Someone did um, say it out loud as well. It's fine. Right. <laughs> so the the Slayer works like this. Once in the whole game during the day. The Slayer can stop all proceedings and say, I'm going to take a shot now. And if they shoot the demon, the demon dies. Okay. If anything else happens, including if the person isn't really the Slayer and is pretending to be one, I will say there is no effect. Right. Um, uh, so our, our second choices after you are... Right. Um... We're going, we've gone a long way from, uh, from this nomination now, so I'm going to run the vote, guys. Four is the number required if you wish to execute Cheryl today. Uh, Cheryl, if you want to do a killing, now's a good time. I have not spoken to everyone, so I have no idea. It um, doesn't look like very you're going to Oh, you might. No, no, I, yeah, it's going to be enough. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Um, 
Cheryl is about to die unless someone else can get more than four votes. Cheryl, who would you kill if you were to kill person, someone with your one-time killing vote? Well, um, we were talking about it before, that if there are two baddies next to each other, then we can start to, like, eliminate people. So yeah. I haven't spoken to um, anyone... Well, I, yeah, I haven't spoken to what is this? Yeah, Jams, um, Jess, and Sam at all. Yeah, they're um, on second choice. Yeah, so I'm presuming that everyone else is telling me the truth. Um, Final call for nominations today. Maybe I would take a shot at Jess, I guess. I'll okay, try it. you want to vote for Jess? Or I can just take the shot. Take the shot. As a ghost, can I nominate? Nope, but you can ask someone else to do it on I your behalf. I think heart. Naomi's being really fucking suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I think go Naomi is and... leading the yeah. charge on persecuting people on very thinly veiled information. And I think this is really... And it could be that Naomi is the spy and therefore could confirm I was the fortune teller. And maybe the pair sitting next to each other that are evil are Liz and Naomi. Bringing the day to a close in five. I'll nominate Naomi. I'll nominate Naomi. Jams. Oh, that's two people sitting next to Jams. each other. Tell us why you have nominated <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> two people sitting um, next I'll let, to each other. I'll let Zach do the, uh, do the honors. On it's the everything I just said. I think Naomi is acting really suspicious and immediately going for people. Uh, it, it, it just, and Liz likewise immediately went for the jugular on me. I hope you chat did. mourns my loss. I nope. hope chat mo chat mourns my loss. <laughs> Naomi, after the chat. Um, what you have to know. understand about me as a person is I'm just kind of an idiot, and I want the stream <laughs> to be really entertaining. So I can wait, and we can all hold hands and be like, oh, maybe it's this," or we can just start killing and see what happens. Uh, so because both Jess and Jams immediately were like, "Yeah, kill Naomi," despite the fact everyone knows I'm in the Undertaker because I'm an idiot and I said it before the stream went live. Um, I think that we should kill Jess and Jams. Uh, do you want to slay one and then we vote out the other? Okay. Uh, we're getting a little far away from whether or not you're innocent, Naomi, and back onto who you want to <laughs> mercilessly slay. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the vote. Uh, we have four on Cheryl. Five votes if you wish to kill Naomi instead. Four would tie, in which case nobody would be executed. Here we go. <gasps> Paul, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> You're hacking sauce! Well, no, Jams! <gasps> wow. Yeah! I, um, what do oh. we even say to that? Zach, that's your one vote gone. Cheryl, I'm very surprised you didn't vote for that, honestly. Uh, but now there's nobody Jesus. on the block. Oh, so Jams wow. just saved oh. Cheryl and Naomi. Thanks, babes. I did okay. also vote for Cheryl in the first place. That is true. I will give you points for that. Okay. Um, so, kill Jess? It feels what? very weird that you would just go immediately to kill Jess, considering we've not had a chat yet, but okay. <laughs> May I suggest, um, and I appreciate that God is about to rush us along this, but can we have a group oh chat, like, before everyone breaks up, like, before, maybe tomorrow morning. I'm going to bring yeah. the day to a close. Okay. Wait, 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 we're losing our, we're losing our option, our chance. Four. Make a death. Uh, Three. And we're giving the demons an extra two, to kill. One. Statistically, it's a bit. No executions today. <sighs> Everybody goes to sleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad move, guys. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was the uh, wow. that was terrible for the good Absolutely team. I didn't think it could awful. get much worse than the fortune teller dying, but uh, Zach think, threw away his yeah. vote. I think the nothing. only way it gets worse is if Cheryl had taken her Slayer shot on Jess and cleared the I Scarlet mean, Woman potentially. That would have been yeah, for evil, yeah. Right? But, but I mean, honestly, I think what's going to happen now is she is Edward's going to kill Cheryl, uh, uh, and then there'll be oh, no. Me. Surely, surely not. Oh, she's yeah, so maybe. suspicious now, though. I think maybe not. Yeah, I'd um, keep her alive yeah. if I were in his position. Yeah. Um, well, do you know what? We don't need to speculate. Let's just wake him yes. up. Hello. Hello. So, Edward, who do you want to merc? Don't know. Um, I think Liz. 
Liz. Yeah. Okay. Liz, oh, it good. is. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Wow. He's just <laughs> yeah, quite happy for all these Steve. extremely dangerous characters to continue threatening. It's just like, let's have a Johnson Slayer and Undertaker. I love it. Let's go. I guess I guess today the Undertaker isn't really a problem. Because no, no I'm not going to be learning it, anything. So, yeah. I suppose Edward's logic is probably also that Cheryl is not saying that she's going to shoot him, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I also think he is potentially using the empath thing to move around the Grim to paint. To make Naomi, Naomi look, look shady. shady. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, quite possibly. Yeah. Do you know if Sam's told anyone that he's the Raven Keeper? Uh, I was in a chat with him earlier, and he was keeping it very close to his chest about what he was. Um, smart, smart so guy. It, it sounded like a very good, like, oh, I, I'm really powerful, so don't don't mind me kind of play, which I was like, if Ed hears that, that's very good. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no, I think he's doing, he seems to be doing very well. Right, well, uh, we don't wake Naomi because no one died during the day. Yeah. We don't wake Sam because he didn't die during the night, so okay. we just wake everyone up. Great. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Play. Oh my god. Oh, okay. fuck. Good morning, right. Ravens of Bluff. This morning, Hi. you find one of the pods empty, and as you investigate, you all start to feel a drip on the back of your necks. Oh. You look up, and <gasps> stuck to the ceiling is the body of Liz. Oh. oh no. That's fine. I'm not your helpful. Good luck. How do I Are you good? Does someone have a vendetta against realms of peril and glory? <laughs> <That's my laughs> yeah, <question. I> <laughs> oh, is I... Naomi next? <laughs> I think I know what's pass. going on. Sam, can we have a chat? Yes, of course. We well, I'm entirely Let's go to the library. library. Okay. Again, um, I'm just. Hey. Hello. Um, are you perchance the monk? Uh, no, I am not. Uh, at this point, I'm going to reveal myself to be the Raven Keeper. Hmm. Okay. I, I don't trust Jess. I think Jess was trying to fuck with me in the last, like the last round. I feel, and I'm not a hundred percent trust trustful of her at all um yeah did you learn anything in the night no 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 i got all of my information on the fr i think i said to you on the first day that i'm the investigator yes. and i saw right. Darren, which is why you i did. trust maddie yeah yeah and so yeah so we think recluse okay um who have i not spoken to i've not spoken to ed or paul why did you think i was the monk I um, you seemed confused about Liz dying. I might have heard the wrong person as well. Someone seemed confused about Liz dying. I thought it might have been you. Um, and I was gonna- So I okay. can't die if I'm targeted by the demon. Um, so far, so good. But yeah, targeting, I don't know. I don't really want- <sighs> I don't think it's you. <laughs> Thank you. I think I think, <laughs> I think that would be stupid. Um, it also two evil people sat together would mean right. like if you would true. need to be next to Paul or Ed. I'm fairly certain it's not Ed. I'm fairly certain it's not Paul. Right. Well, because they didn't get a. Was it Zach said that the fortune teller thing gave him a clear on Paul? On um, on Paul and Maddie. Yeah. On Paul and Maddie. So. Yeah. Zach say that drunk stuff. Did he? I can't remember what he was said. Let me go down this. Ben, can you confirm? What's that? Uh, there's there's no outsiders in the game, correct? In some player game, there should be no outsiders. But one of the minions, the Baron, uh, their whole ability is that they add in two extra outsiders at the beginning of the game. So it is possible that we have two, but we can only have zero or two. We can't right, have right. one or three. Four. Okay. Okay, so we have a chef, an empath, a fortune teller, an undertaker, uh, two minions, and a demon. Okay. Where are we at is, now? Is... Slayer, supposedly. Oh. Um, yeah. So that that so I didn't I didn't get I didn't get a so I got an evil read off. But I, I, off the person off, that you have not named, but whom we both understand you are talking about. 
Yeah, so, but I, I don't know if anything can affect that. Um, but also, I guess... Jess. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And so I thought Naomi's probably good, and Cheryl might also be good. Okay. Yeah. So you think you think it's somewhere in that Paul to Jess? I don't. I literally just range. just vibing. I'm yeah. just <laughs> happy to let other people have more opinions about what's okay. going on and the, what they think. The thing about the Naomi, end. and this is super meta, but like, she did immediately say the word Undertaker the like split second our roles were assigned, and I know for a fact. That that you know the way the game is played is if you are a demon you know you're a demon and then you are sh then shown like alternate things it would have been a bold move to just say undertaker if someone else is an undertaker yeah. you know like that would have been good like but, but also maybe the gods deliberately i don't know i, don't I know found it works. suspicious how naomi kept going on about how she's an idiot because she's not yeah <laughs> She's being super sus, but I think that might also just be her know, trying maybe, to make good content. Maybe yeah. content. <laughs> um, Which is also something Naomi thinks about. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yes, I, I, I was the chef. I gave my information. Um, it's possible I'm drunk, although, again, there may or may not you're, be out. You're either. not. So, okay. Sorry, yeah, getting back to my actual information, <laughs> yeah. I learned on the first night that either Zach or Sam was the drunk, which is why when you said that one, I, oh. I trust that because you can't be the drunk unless... Oh. No one listening to the gong. Cheryl, Maddie, thank you. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, do it again. Gong them again. <laughs> Gong them again. Um, oh, I think I'm going to have to. Do it. Ed, Cheryl, have you got any? Or Ed, oh. you got any information you want to share with the class or some spooky ghosts? Um, so I I do. Um, so obviously earlier on there was an accusation levied at Cheryl. Um, I so I don't I don't. Bear in mind, I don't know if this information can be affected, but in my role, I know if my neighbors are evil. And I know for a fact that Maddie wasn't, um, but I, I did get a read off Cheryl. And I, I like I say, I don't I don't know if that could be affected. I don't know. I, I well, don't know if one, one of the other it abilities. It can be if you were poisoned or drunk, right? That's one. Those are the conditions that can like make information false. Is that right? So if if I was poisoned or drunk, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, like okay. yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say nominations are open. Do feel free to keep talking though, Ed. Okay, so obvious, like, so I, I don't know if the the efficacy of my information stands up, but that is some vaguely concrete information I know based off the last vote that we had, um, which is all I can really bring to the table. Well, do you want me to do it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or is someone else going to nominate? Because I'm happy to be um, the town. Like, I'm the Karen of this goddamn town. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't a straight up accusation, but like, is there anything else you'd like to share to sort of like support your position, Ed? Because it feels like super convenient for you to like now say that you got information on me because before you'd only said information that you had about maddie so so i i had spoken with naomi and liz prior um prior to your accusation um i wasn't like i said just because i wasn't sure if that could be affected um and i didn't know Honestly, I didn't know if you were accused, if you would come after me. Um, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Liz, can you confirm that that is information that we received? Uh, which part? <laughs> that Ed spoke to us about Cheryl being evil. Uh, we had a we had a chat. <laughs> Bro, my brain is a sieve. I don't remember. <laughs> I've been too busy killing people. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we 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 definitely started on a. Cheryl's a bit quiet. Let's we were, we were gonna kill her at the start just for fun. Final call for nominations um, today. What? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm. I like I say I don't know. I don't know if my information is good enough. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna put in a nomination. Um, I'm gonna nominate for statistical reasons. Cheryl, goodbye. It's been lovely having you. You are the weakest link. 
Well, uh, and you had that ready. Naomi, would you like to add anything to that that is relevant to this game at all? Um, I had a discussion with Jess. <laughs> Jess has given me their role, supposedly. Uh, they have made some suggestions. Uh, Cheryl, if you can kill Jess for me because you're the Slayer, that will prove that you're innocent and Jess is a liar, therefore is the demon. Um, what did Jess tell you? What? What did Jess tell you? Because she told me that she's the soldier. Yes, which would make her unkillable, which would Yeah, it... well done. So now well, the demon cannot target me because they know... So, gee, well done, lads. Well done. <laughs> Fucking okay. A. Great. Wait, Cher Cheryl, Cheryl? Anything, anything to say before we run the <clears throat> boat? So you can shoot Jess, right? Sh Cheryl? Mm. To prove that you're innocent and that Cheryl, Jess is therefore the demon and can die. Okay. Let's give Cheryl a chance to defend herself. Go no, for it, Cheryl. Do you know what? Go oh, for it. Come on, no, really, though. <laughs> really, I must insist that you allow no. Cheryl to speak. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I can say that I didn't say the last time. I feel like my name's been brought up since the beginning because I was quiet because I try very hard not to talk over people in video conversations. So, I mean, I guess I could take my shot now to try to Look. solve this, but I'm still really on the fence. If the ghosts have an opinion... I got they'd like to have a minute and a half ago. I'm not well, really sure what's happening. Just, just keep in mind, Cheryl, uh, that you've got right up until the day ends, if you are indeed the Slayer and want to take your shot, you don't have to do it now. You can wait mm -hmm. until I'm on two of my five count. <laughs> still okay. It. So let's take the vote. Uh, we're still looking for four because we have seven living players now. Yep. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. And three is not enough. Cheryl is safer today. <sighs> I'd like to nominate Paul. Jams, why have you nominated Paul? what? Well, Paul is very nice, uh, as we can tell by his name, but... <laughs> I... and, and some reviews in the Times. I, yeah, and some reviews in the Times. Um, but the thing is, there was another review in the Times um, by Liz the Chef informing me that there are two evil players sitting next to each other, and I trust Liz. And I think if Edward's information says that Cheryl is evil, then maybe Paul is an evil person sitting next to Cheryl. So, hang on. That seems specious, entirely specious, um, in that we think two evil people are sat next to each other, and because somebody we didn't just murder who the majority of people don't think is evil, is sat next to me, based on the idea that evil people are sat next to each other, I am evil? So what are you, Paul, if you're not evil? Uh, I am the... Um, oh, fucking hell, sorry, I've got too many tabs open. Raven Keeper. Oh, that's interesting, because someone else has also claimed that to me. Who? Yeah, who did claim that to you? Um, I'll let them say if they'd like to. Um, Not me. Paul, anything to add before I run the vote? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Okay. Oh, fuck, I'm just gonna get killed. Uh, I'm actually the mayor. But I was trying to keep that quiet till the end because it gives us a second win condition. Okay. So what, what Still does, looking for? What does the mayor do? Okay. If we get to the last day and don't do an execution, then we win. Okay, I'm a ghost, okay, but right. I feel supported, Liz. <laughs> Didn't we get clear vibes from Paul? Yep. One's not enough. Any other nominations? I'd like to nominate Jams because of the last three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, right. let's go! The prosecution rests! <laughs> Anything to... <laughs> okay. We're each other. Jams? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. I can die. I've gotten all the information I'm going to get in the game. Uh, I found it suspicious that um, there were uh, there was a group of people that didn't vote on Cheryl that are now very quick to put their hands up on me. That's all. Which group? Uh, specifically from Cheryl through to Jess. Let's do it. I Still looking for four. To be fair, if I nominate you and don't vote, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four is enough. Fuck. Any other nominations? I just don't know enough about everyone. Apparently, that's not a factor. <laughs> it really isn't. It really isn't, team. It just isn't. Calling it in five. I'm going to nominate Jess. 
Sam nominates Jess. Tell us why. I don't know. I just get bad vibes. Um, I... And that we've had some like quite close conversations, and I think felt it was very mining for mining for the de detail in a way that made me very suspicious. Mining for details in what way? What I was don't know. I, I... I, I, there's just something about it just really like. I was at, okay, one, I asked if you were okay because you were being quiet and you were like, oh, I'm just taking everything in. And I was like, completely, absolutely, get that. I just wanted to make sure you were fine. Then we had a nice chat. Um, and then we both sort of had an idea. Maybe Naomi was suspicious because she kept le like leveraging out accusations and maybe Jams as well. Um, then we had a chat about me being the soldier. And I'm really glad that it wasn't you that revealed it. Cheryl did because that's that helps us. Um, but yeah, no, that's the entirety of our messages, unless I've missed anything out. No, no it's, all, it's all been lovely. That's but pretty, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. So, so I just... add an opinion. I know nobody wants to hear it at this point. But, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got three evil people. There's one person and then two people next to each other. Um, I would like to say, based on Sam's current offer and the fact that Cheryl and Ed are throwing messages backwards and forwards, that if two people next to each other are villainous, Jams, I don't think that that last play would suggest that they were trying to, unless they were trying to kill a member of their own team to avoid suspicion. Ed's been thrown around a lot of suspicion. I would suggest Cheryl, Ed, and Sam is quite a nice, like, okay. little three. We're getting quite prior. far away from, uh, from Jess. Sorry, so every time. <laughs> I was the number required forward time. And one is not enough. So, uh, it looks to me like you're... I mean, you've had uh, four nominations today and three of them got one. Uh, and the other one was Jams. So, uh, I think Jams' uh, number is up now. So, I'm going to call it in five, four, three, two, I don't like one. It. <laughs> Jams is executed and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. Oh, fuck mm. this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, wow. we've had an outed slayer now. It's absolutely <laughs> two eight, And an outed undertaker for the entire game, and the demon has instead killed a, a really sort of, yeah, <laughs> I love new it. players. I love it. New the player. thing is, what's he going to do now? He might go for Sam next. I have no like... idea. This is excellent. I'm so, I'm so <laughs> in. Um, we should speed this up because we're yep. timing. We should. Let's yep, get Edward in here. Hello. Hello, Edward. Who do you want to kill? Um... I think Naomi's close. I'm gonna do Naomi. Okay. I think. Nice. Yeah. Naomi, it is. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. No worries. That's good. Okay. That feels good. Yep. We don't have to do anything else. Um, Kill some time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these guys really like talking, which is good yes. uh, when you're not on a schedule. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll 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 start picking up the pace a little bit now. Yeah. It's worth noting that actually, um, if the evil team can convince. Uh, the execution of Sam or Cheryl oh, yeah. tomorrow, they then will then it. just win in the night. I, I um, think they can get Cheryl. I think that's quite likely yeah. to be what's going to happen, yeah. honestly. All right. Exciting. All right, let's wake them up. Right. See that one or both. Good of them morning, up. Ravenswood Bluff. Your what ship if? continues its journey, but without one passenger. The ship's logs show that Naomi was thrown out of the oh, airlock shit. last night. I was like, no one told me who fucking died. What the shit? Because <laughs> you did. <laughs> You're in a really confusing afterlife. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to speed this up a little bit now, guys. Yep. We're going to so, pick up the pace. Uh, you've got two yeah. minutes, and then we're going to talk nominations. Okay. Okay. Shall, uh, shall we talk right. as a group? Let's do that. For the sake of the town. Right. Let's okay. talk as a group. Paul, I think, if yeah. you're bad, we're breaking up. <laughs> That's... Oh wow! <laughs> Ultimatum on Let the table, live on air. <laughs> oh no! I, so... I, I want to win. I, I want think to Sam win. Is suspiciously quiet. That's what I'm gonna say. I think Sam is suspiciously quiet. Yeah, I, I, I am. Quiet, <laughs> Don't but... say yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. quiet. I'm not suspiciously yeah. quiet. I'm just quiet. I'm the Raven Keeper. Um, so everyone, okay. everyone knows. Yeah, but so is Paul. So... Pop, yeah, no, 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 I know, I know, but honestly, when you revealed that, gave me, gave me trust issues. Did not like. Uh, fuck you. Um, so, from, <laughs> so from a practical point of view, 
so Jess, you're Hello. you're the, you're the soldier. Yes. Or, or you say you're the soldier, but you're you're the soldier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to keep that one quiet because what that would have been really good to to do is if the if the demon had come for me in the night, as if sent sent. The way I was thinking of playing it was like a shield in the traitors, uh, and Ivan bretting it to the end and just being like, "Oh, they couldn't kill me, so we know it's one of these freaks." But like, no, that didn't work. So that's also, it's not given us an it's not given us an extra day because now they won't go for me. Is the thinking? But, it, but you wouldn't find out who tried to go for you. you no, but it would give us if the if the imp goes for the soldier, no. then the soldier doesn't die, and so we've still got the same number of people the next day. Is that right? Right. Is that that yeah. was my thinking, and it would just give us right. a bit more time. Um, but it also <sighs> means outside of being executed, you can't be touched. Is that right? Yes, okay. I think. Yeah, aside from yeah, throw me out the yeah. airlock or no, I'm. I think you can still be shot. Yeah, I'm paladining <laughs> real hard. You yeah, you can shoot me if you want. <laughs> well, but like the sh the shot doesn't work if it's not at the imp. Yeah. Oh, so, so it, it wouldn't. Is... Okay. Yeah. Oh. Like if you guys shoot me is the thing I, I didn't vote for cheryl so that she could live so that if she wanted to prove it and shoot me it wouldn't have any effect and we wouldn't lose any players was my thinking so um, cheryl when you when you messaged me mm -hmm. and asked if i'd talked to jams was so you 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 hadn't talked spoken to only them. very well, briefly on the first day i said what role i was when yeah. cheryl was in the room Okay. I was trying to get information about the people I hadn't had much conversation with. No! It is time. Right. It is time. I nominate Sam. Someone has they're next to each other, so I think Sam is a good bet. So, what, I, Sam and I, Paul or Sam? Wait. Look, I know Paul is not the demon because I got a no on fortune teller. Doesn't okay. mean he's not a minion. I think okay. Sam's a good bet to see what's what. Yeah, and he was kind of quick to throw me under the bus. Just saying. Just I can't saying. nominate, so someone who's alive has to nominate. Oh, I nominate Sam. Okay, Jess, do you want to take it from here, or do you want to hand it over to Zach? Um, I will hand it to Zach. Oh no! Ch Channel oh, no. through me, Zach. Give it, I, give it look, your all. I know that Paul is not the demon. I don't know for a fact that Paul isn't a minion. Uh, I think we know that they have to be next to each other. We've established that. It sounds like everyone believes that information. I believe that information. So my theory is Paul could be a minion and therefore making Sam the demon if we're trusting that Jess isn't lying, uh, which, you know, could be true, could be false, up to you. I trust that Ed is the empath that feels strong to me. Okay, in the interest of keeping things moving, I'm very sorry, Zach, but That's we're going to have fine. to move over to Sam's okay. defense. Sam, go for it. I understand. I've been suspiciously quiet. Um, but I I am 100% the Raven Keeper. I've been taking everything in. I still believe that Jess is lying. Um, and, yeah, I think Jess is lying, and I, I do... I do get the things about Ed and being the empath as well, but I, I believe I'm about to be killed. Well, if you're the Raven Keeper, you'll get to find out. Yeah, but exactly. yeah, you should want the, the to only, die. Hey, that's only a right now. Night. It doesn't work number. if we do okay. it in day. Insane to nominate and not vote. So based on that, okay, gonna... conviction. Whoa! Fuck. And that's two dead votes gone. Before wow. votes on Sam. Any other nominations? I th oh, but... Paul. I really want to trust everyone here. Is the trouble? <laughs> it's like my first. Are you time playing this game wrong? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. In that case, then I'll bring the day to a close in five, four, three. I will shoot Jess. Cheryl claims to be the Slayer and shoots Jess. Nothing happens. There is no effect. Three. Helpful, though. Two. One. Sam is executed and dies. Everybody, close your eyes. God. That's game. Well. That's game, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Assuming you know men, Assumes, like monumental go, here. Oh, I'm yeah. going to kill a minion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's um, find out. Yeah, let's. Hello, Hello. Ed. 
kill Cheryl. <laughs> yes, thought you might. Well, you might say that. Thank you. All right, thank um, you. Thank Before we wake everyone up, um, chat are asking if we can speak to Jams and see when she might have solved the game. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, Jam. We're going Hello. into uh, a, a sort of final day scenario, and I'm, we, we all just kind of want to know, have you solved the game? Chat are really keen to know. <laughs> oh, God. I've been relaxing. I mean, the the people that I trusted are basically all dead. Um, I think it's, it's a bit hard because I haven't really been pressing players for information, so I don't actually know what Edward is claiming to have for his empath numbers. Um, I have thought for a bit that it's um, some combination of basically three of the four people between Cheryl and Jess, but I'm not totally sure which of them it is exactly. Um, yeah, so we'll see. It'll be curious. Yeah, cool. There you go, Cheryl. All right. Uh, okay. let's, Thanks, uh, let's, let's do it. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Good morning, Ravens with Bluff. As you awake, you feel a heat emanating from one of the pods, and you see the heat turned all the way up, roasted to death, the body of Cheryl. Fuck. So we... Ben, would you like to do the honours? Yes, I will. The game is over. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and congratulations belong to the evil team, what? none of whom have died at all. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't do I it. You must have that. I think that was me. That was the way people were shot. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Yes. Right, well, yes. we'll, uh, we'll just very quickly do the roll call. Uh, and then we want to right, everyone, so, quiet for a minute. Uh, we'll kick off with uh, with Liz, our chef, who learned that there was there was one pair of evil players sat next to each other. That was Edward the Imp and Maddie the Recluse registering as evil. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Sam was our Raven Keeper, uh, who sadly did not die in the night. Sat next to Sam was Paul, our Baron, who was Hello. bluffing as a Raven Keeper because he was bluffing as a mayor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you all triple bluff! Um, Cheryl, a Slayer, who came out, who was out on day two and survived until the very end of the game. Amazing. Uh, we had. Um, we had Jess, our Scarlet Woman, who never caught the Demon Hood because the Demon never died. We had Zack, our Fortune Teller, uh, who correctly learned that neither Jess nor Maddie was the Demon. We had Naomi, our Undertaker, who correctly ascertained <coughs> that uh, Zack, the very person she campaigned for the death of, was in fact the Fortune Teller. Uh, and that just leaves Paul, our Baron, who added in the two extra Outsiders. And the second of those was Jam the Drunk, who saw Librarian and who we lied to about either Sam or Zach being the drunk, when in fact the drunk was Jams themselves. And oh, that damn. was on the clock tower, the evil team's bluffs were Empath, Saint and Mayor. Fantastic Wee. work, everyone. Right, and... we're going to take a quick break uh, from stream. You guys can keep chatting and shouting at each other, that's absolutely fine. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to join in playing, everyone. So, uh, right, chat, we'll be back in a few minutes. See you shortly.